This video is sponsored by iMobi. The new iOS 15 is here and so come the problems with updating your device. From being stuck on an Apple logo, a frozen screen or your device being stuck on the recovery mode. You can fix all of these with any fix. Or if you don't like iOS 15 and you want to downgrade, you can do that with one click, as long as iOS 14 is being signed by Apple. Any fix can repair more than 130 problems of your iOS device using one of the three methods. Or if your device is stuck on the recovery mode, you can exit the recovery recovery mode with one click. Make sure you give it a try by checking the link in the description of the video. Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and iOS 15 has been out for a few days now. So this is my follow up video on the new iOS 15. Now, of course, we have some more new features that have been discovered on iOS 15 and we're going to talk about everything that you need to know performance, battery life, bugs, and of course the next releases of iOS 15 and whether you should update or not. So before we get started, make sure you smash the like button of this video. That helps out a lot and of course will make this video do much, much better. Starting with some more new features, when someone sends you a link on the iMessage app on the new iOS 15, you will get this preview on Safari. So someone sends you a link, you go to Safari, and then you will have this section right here shared with you. You will see the link as well as a preview of the website. And then right there, you will see the name of the person that has sent you that link. So of course, you can go ahead and open this from here. And even at the top right there, it will show you that you have received this link from iMessage. On iOS 15, now we have new notifications and we have also focus. And a combination of these two will bring this new design right here. So when you receive notifications while on a focus mode, you will get this design right here. So it shows you the logo of the focus that you have been on, maybe do not disturb or driving, personal, whatever that was, it shows it right here and then shows you right here while in personal focus or while in do not disturb or stuff like that, whichever focus mode you have been on. This is also new on iOS 15. A lot of users have been reporting this. I got this screenshot from Reddit, from iOS beta on Reddit, and you will get this. We'll get ready for your new iPhone. So whenever you order a new iPhone, from your iPhone, of course, from the Apple Store app, you will get this at the top of the settings app, basically letting you know about the new feature of iOS 15 that lets you upload your data to iCloud and then download them to your new iPhone without having to pay anything. You get free storage on iCloud to go ahead and prepare for your new iPhone. So this can be found on the settings app if you go to general and go to reset. But if you have ordered a new phone, this will pop up at the top of your settings app. Now on iOS 15, we also have now background sound, so you can enable them by going under accessibility. And from here, what you need to do, go to audio and visuals, and you will have background sounds right here. You can enable them from here and you can choose the sound in this section. You can also edit these. If you want to remove any of the sounds, you know that they will take up a few space like on your devices. Some take more, you can see, we have 70 there, 60, 62, and then the, those are way lower, but you can remove any one of them if you don't want to use them. And right here, you can set the no, basically the volume of these background noises, and you can also enable when media is playing. So you can play a song and have the background sounds playing at the same time. Now lower here, you can also choose whether you want to stop the background sounds when you lock your device or not. So if you enable this, you lock your device, the sound will stop. If you disable it, you can continue playing the background noise even though your device might be locked. There is also a new UI for QR code scanning. So whether you're scanning it from the camera or you're doing it from the photos app using the new live text feature. So you just tap right there. And if there's a like a QR code on that picture, it will scan it just like it does from the camera. Now, once you tap on the QR code, you can open it here from Safari. But if you do that from the camera app, you will get like a yellow button. You can do the same. It lets you open it on Safari directly from the camera app. Another great feature that you will get if you have 5G network on your device is the ability to back up to iCloud using cellular data. Now, a lot of people now have unlimited data plans and stuff like that, and they will be able with the fast data to quickly upload their stuff and of course back up their device to iCloud. Now, iCloud will allow you to do that through cellular data. So if you have 
5G network, it will show up up here and you will be able to enable it just like you do with a regular backup from iCloud. Now on iOS 15, when you go to turn off your device, there is a message that will pop up just like this. You can see it says iPhone findable after power off. So basically you will be able to find your iPhone even though it might be turned off. But did you know that you can actually tap right there and it will show you here a pop-up basically letting you know what happens so that you can actually find your iPhone when it's turned off and stuff like that. You can also temporarily turn it off from here so you can do that like right there and then after rebooting your device it will be turned on automatically again. With iOS 15 there is a very nice hidden feature that has been discovered. You can now record dictation more than 60 seconds. Now if you didn't know that was the limit previously on iOS 14. With iOS 15 you can do that and you can do that for longer than 60 seconds and that's actually really really good. So if you need to type something like dictate something like long sentences and stuff like that or maybe just a long message then you can do that with dictation and now it can be over 60 seconds. When talking performance, iOS 15 is really, really good. I didn't have any issues with performance on iOS 15 since beta 1 and now of course the official release. Now taking a look at the CPU Geekbench test right here, you can see we have a single core score of 1599 while we have a multi-core score of 4195. So basically we had quite similar scores all through the betas of iOS 15 since beta 1. Again, if you're just worrying about performance, don't need to do that. You can just go ahead and update to iOS 15. The performance is actually really good. I even have it installed right here on my very old iPhone 7 and I have used it for a few days now and it actually works quite good didn't have any problems whatsoever using it on the iphone 7 i didn't notice any like major change or even a slight change in performance going from ios 14.8 to ios 15 right here on the old iphone 7. Now when talking battery life i had pretty good battery life all throughout the betas of ios 15 and there is no exception of course with the official release of iOS 15, battery has been quite good and very consistent all through the betas of iOS 15 and now of course it's basically the same with the official release as well. Now of course you can expect that from a newer device here having the iPhone 12 Pro Max and of course very good battery health, the battery life is quite good, I have no complaints probably it will get better with the new releases of iOS 15 but if you're again worrying about performance and battery on iOS 15 I would just tell you right away not to worry about these two things you won't like downgrade or anything if you update from iOS 14 to iOS 15 when talking about performance and battery life as well they're pretty good and I would suggest any user to go ahead and update to iOS 15 you won't be having any problems with battery and of course performance as well especially for the newer devices and now let's talk about bugs a lot of people are experiencing two quite good bugs on ios 15. of course there are lots more that are really small and probably won't affect the way you use or the daily use of your iphone but these two are quite big now one of them many users have reported getting the iphone storage full error message even though they have tons of free space on their devices I didn't exp experience this problem, but I have experienced this other one. iOS 15 has broken Siri's ability to turn on the AirPods Pro noise cancellation feature on and off. You cannot do that with Siri on iOS 15, even though it has been fixed on iOS 15.1, which right now is on beta one. But if you don't plan on installing beta, you know that iOS 15 will now break the ability for Siri to do that. But of course, these will be fixed. And I expect Apple to release a new update on iOS 15 very, very soon to have these problems fixed and probably will happen as soon as next week. Now, we are on the 24th of the day. You can expect next week, sometime maybe on the 28th or 29th to see an update from Apple. Of course, iOS 15.0.1, that might be the case. And of course, we can get these bugs fixed and other bugs that people are reporting. 
but we also have iOS 15.1, which right, right now is on beta stages. It's on beta one, and you can expect that to be released sometime at the end of October, in about a month from now, you can expect to have iOS 15.1 released to the public. So for the future releases, these are the fu future releases that we are expecting. iOS 15.1 probably in about four to five weeks. And of course, we should see a smaller update getting released very, very soon. It might happen as soon as next week. So that's basically it for this video, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more iOS 15 videos. I'll see you guys on the next one.